A priest from Slidell just returned from the Philippines, a country hit by not one but two disasters in recent weeks. Carolyn Schofield tells us how he used his own experience rebuilding to help a community just starting the process. In the gleaming sanctuary of St. Genevieve Church, Father Jose Roel Lange gave his first Mass since returning home. Lange traveled to the Philippines more than a month ago to undergo tests for a kidney transplant. Two days after arriving, an earthquake devastated the area where Lange's family lives. But seeing people living in the streets and, and, and without anything, because basically, uh, for the most part, people are still living outside. They don't want to go inside. The magnitude 7.2 quake destroyed homes and churches. Lungay says people were begging for the most basic of needs. And all they ask, beg, when they see a stranger is, do you have water? You know, and showing you bottles, two big bottles of, of water without anything. You know, so, so it's just painful to see. Lungay posted a plea for help on Facebook, and a second one just a few weeks later. He was still in the Philippines when Super Typhoon Haiyan slammed the area around Tacloban. He says people here responded overwhelmingly. Church members here say it's easy to understand what's going on now in the Philippines because they went through it too just eight years ago. Tita Esperito lost her home in Araby. The thing that really made me so emotional about helping because I was there, you know, I, I had the experience to be helped. And it took six long years to build a new sanctuary after the old one flooded. Lunge used his experience here to help those now beginning to rebuild. They were kind of surprised I know something, so I said, I came through Katrina, they gave us 10 years to get back, and we're still on the eighth year. And I'm still seeing that in, in, in a lot of people that I know even in, you know, in people that I know, you know, still suffering. Following the double blow, Lange knows the recovery in the Philippines will take years. But just like this community came back stronger, he believes the island nation can too. In Slidell, Carolyn Schofield, Fox 8 News. St. Genevieve Catholic Church in Slidell is still collecting donations for the Philippines. Church members have already contributed more than $17,000 for the relief efforts.